you guys so i just got done filming like always you guys love the drill hey guys i'm done filming so yes we are done i am going to remove this makeup so i can take a shower and pick up my baby from daycare um, i dropped him off this morning at 10 o'clock and i just came back up to my apartment so i can film some videos and just kind of like do some things around the apartment so yes we are done filming i'm gonna take a shower pick him up and then my friend is coming over tonight just to kind of like hang out because she hasn't seen him since i gave birth to him so she's gonna come over so she can see him and that's pretty much it um I am going to get my nails done tomorrow because they look atrocious. You guys know this one broke like a long time ago, but yeah, these need to get cut because it's hard to do things with them being so long. So yeah, they need to get cut. And these are like my actual nails, but they just look rusty and crusty and needs to get cut and repolished. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to hang out with my god sister um, while Trey is at daycare and uh, that's pretty much it i only have two more weeks before i go back to work which um <sighs> i have mixed feelings i'm excited to go back to work so i can make some money but at the same time i'm like mm, i don't want to go back to work so it's mixed feelings about it but so far trey is definitely um doing good in daycare at first you know you could tell it was an adjustment but he he's he's doing better and I'm actually doing better. I left today. I did not cry when I left today. You guys know I cried on Tuesday, but Wednesday I did not cry and Thursday I did not cry either, which is today. So I'm super proud of myself and you know it's it's a process and I'm happy I have two more weeks to still kind of like get adjusted before I go back to work. Um and kind of get like some last minute things done before I go back to work as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I guess I'll talk to you guys on the way to get him. I won't be all glammed up like this. I'll be looking basic as hell, but it's okay. You guys still love me regardless. So yeah. You guys, I am back. I just gave Trey a bath. So he is looking and smelling good. Say hi to Trey. You got a bath? You got a bath so you smell good. Yes. You smell good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am just going to pack some stuff to take to my mom's house because I do have um, a few things of his over there. Therefore, when I, whenever I go to her house, I'm not taking like a trillion things. So um, pretty much like what I have here um he has there as well so like you know towels washcloths diapers wipes clothes like he have the same thing there and it's just more convenient that way and yeah so i'm just gonna get our bags well his bag packed so therefore tomorrow when we leave i can just take all that stuff to her house so that's what i'm doing and he's just down here chilling so i guess i will check in with you guys later if not then i'll check in with you guys tomorrow Hi. say good morning everyone say good morning trey we're gonna daycare today this is week number two for daycare yes are you excited are you excited <laughs> hey you guys so right now i'm making me some breakfast before we head out to go to daycare um, just because I have a few errands to run before I come back to the house. I'm just going to eat. Therefore, I don't buy any food while I'm out because I need to stop doing that. But, yeah, we are going to get ourselves ready and then I'll just talk to you guys when I'm out on the road. Look who's home from daycare. It's Trey Trey. Trey Trey. How was daycare? It was fun. So he just got a bath, so he's smelling good, looking good. We're just going to put on a onesie, and then he's going to eat some dinner. 
Yes. Huh, Trey Trey? Huh? Trey. I missed you while you was gone. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? No. <laughs> Hey you guys, so I just got straight from daycare and we are now heading back to the house. Um, he had a really good day, he did really good and super excited because my baby's back with me. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to the house and just kind of like chill, watch some TV and just kind of relax. So, see, there we go. <laughs> Hello there, you guys. Right now, I'm just eating breakfast. I have some eggs with ketchup, which tastes so good. If you haven't tried it, don't judge me. And some sausage, and I have my smoothie right here. I'm again a late, a late start to the day. I'm not gonna show you, show you me. I look crazy, but in a late start to the day, so I'm just gonna eat and then take a shower, and I'll talk to you guys after that. All right, you guys. So I just got done twisting up my hair, as you can see, because. My hair needed to wash really badly and when I was detangling my hair in the shower, I lost quite a bit of hair. Um, but that was my fault because I did not um, wash my hair or, you know, detangle my hair throughout the course of the week. So I had like a lot of matting um, within my hair, but it is nice and detangled and we are good. Um, the shampoo that I used was the, um, it was a Dove Absolute, this shampoo, and then I also used the Dove Absolute Conditioner. Um, and then to detangle my hair, I used the Not Your Mother's Natural. And then for my leave-in, I used the Not Your Mother's Repair and Protect Leave-In Conditioner. And then to twist my hair, I used the Garnier Fertise Buttercream. It's for dry, curly hair. And yeah, this is what we got. So I'm going to take it down tomorrow because my best friend's, I said my best friend's, my best friend, her birthday is tomorrow. Um, so we're going to go to Sky Zone and then Top Golf. Um, I may or may not go to Top Golf. It depends, but definitely Sky Zone. So I'm going to take this down tomorrow and I think, I think it'll be a really cute twist up because it's nice and defined and all that good stuff. So... We just what it look like. I'm about to go declutter my makeup because my drawers are getting absolutely full. And I have stuff in there that I don't even use, like, at all. So I just kind of feel like why am I hoarding the product? So I'm going to declutter my makeup collection while I let this dry a little bit. And then I have to film a video. Um, I did film my, it was my Marshall's little, like, makeup tutorial thing, but... The video was trash, so I have to refilm it again today. Um, so I'm going to refilm that while I let this, you know, dry. So after it dries down, I'll refilm that video. Um, Trey Trey is at daycare. I did not film this morning him because we kind of was running behind time. So I didn't get a chance to, like, film him. But I'll definitely film him once he gets home from daycare. Um, so, yes, I guess you guys can declutter with me. So you guys are pretty much familiar with my little like setup for my videos. Um, so pretty much this is just what my, you know, desk look like. Um, over here I pretty much just have like my like Mac and NYX products in here. Um, in here I just have like more eyeshadows as well. Um, and these two drawers, this one is pretty much like my concealer drawer plus like my eyeshadow primer, um, more concealers and like some lip products down here. Um, this is pretty much like my blush drawer. I do have more blushes, but I tend to use the same one over and over again because I love it a lot. Um, I have more lip products down here, and I have more lip products down here. Um, pretty much my whole collection is a lot of like lip products. I really want to build up my palette stash because my palettes, I pretty much just have these for like my palettes. Um, like my Anastasia uh, World Travelers palette, the Modern Renaissance palette, um, my favorite, the Lorac palette. Palette. I have the Naked Palette Chocolate Bar, It Cosmetic, um, 
the Anastasia and Amrezy collection. I have more rock. Like, my palette collection sucks really bad, but I need to definitely get that together. I have lip pencils back here. I have NYX products back here. I pretty much have, like, all of my foundation back here. Um, I do want to get rid of this one. Definitely want to get rid of this one. And then I also want to get rid of... Uh, Mm, I want to get rid of my L'Oreal True Match, if I can find it. Definitely want to get rid of that one, because I had that one for a while. Here it is. I want to get rid of that one. And then I want to get rid of uh, my Revlon Color Stay, because I did buy the one with the pump, so I don't need the other one anymore. And I do want to get rid of this one as well. <laughs> And I think that's pretty much all that I want to get rid of because everything else, like my Fit Me, I love. Um, I bought another Fit Me. Then I have my um, Revlon back here. I have my NARS. Um, I have my Makeup Forever, which is like Holy Grail status. I have my Mark, uh, my Mac Pro Long Wear. I actually like this. I know you guys might be like excited you have dry skin. Why do you like it? But you can definitely manipulate any foundation if you have dry skin. Um, now some matte stuff is too like drying but that one i can definitely work with um i do have the pro glow um because i do have dry skin um and i do have my new liquid mousse so i can add that in here kat von d has been like legit holy girl status and then i do have the new milani i haven't tried it yet so i'm gonna keep that right here um and then i have more blushes down here i have my um black radiance these are so pretty um i do have my mac down here i have maybelline and i have um revlon down here i have milani down here so that's pretty much what that is um over here i just have more lip products so more lip products lip products lip products lip products lip products in here um this is pretty much like all like my stuff to like bronze up my face my black radiance you guys know you see it all the time um i also have my um mix in here i have my kate one right here um and again more lip products i have all my milani lipsticks up here all my face powders my mac um, my Maybelline Fit Me Makeup Forever. I have the L'Oreal Infallible back there. I have my Neutrogena right here on the side. Um, I rarely use this one, but um, I do have that as well. I just use it more often. And then I have some like lipsticks back there. My mascaras are up there. And then over here is pretty much like all lip products. I have Maybelline right here. I have um the Revlon D. When these were popular, I bought a lot of them. It was the lip, uh, like the lip butters. Um, and then I have all my MAC right here. And then my NYX and Wet n Wild is back there. I have my brushes over here. And I have more brushes up there. These are my face primers. And I have more in my drawers. Um, and then in my actual drawers, this is just what it looks like in here. Um, I did get these storage containers from God knows where, but <laughs> point is I have them and they do come in um, handy. So over here I have lip products in here, um, Too Faced Melted, um, again more Too Faced Melted, and then back here I have the Tarte um, lip paint. This one is in the color Choker. I have my Kylie lip gloss, um, I have my Stila liquid lipstick this one is in the color um patina so yeah just have those back here um, i do have this black radiance foundation that i need to try haven't tried that one yet um more lip products more lip products um i have my like lash section right here um my airspun you guys know i love that um i have my sephora um color switch little wheel to clear my brushes love that um Highlighters are all pretty much here, like my drugstore highlighters. Um, so, of course, the Maybelline Master Chrome, Essence Pure Nude. Um, I have, like, my NYX Finishing Powder, my Wet n Wild Contouring Powder, my Milani Highlighter. I have the Hard Candy Highlighter. Um, I have some more highlighters, like, back there. Um, and I have some 
here as well. Um, my high end hotters are pretty much up here. Um, so that's the high end besides the wet and wild that's up there. And yeah, just miscellaneous things down here. Um, and over here, I just have more stuff that I need to like use. Um, I have my e.l.f. blush. You guys know I love that. Um, I have my Lorac blush. Have not used this one yet. It's in the color um, infrared. And then I have my Perfusion blush palette. And then I have this one as well. This is my personal like favorite between this one and this one. I like this one better. I have my NYX um, little like ombre blush. It's in a color new to me. It's a blush and highlight duo. I have my Champagne Pop down here. Um, no, not Champagne Pop. It's the Champagne Split. It's the Prosecco Pop and uh, Pumple Mousse. I don't use it as much as I, as I thought I would, um, but it is down there. Um, I have my Anastasia lip gloss. I have my Anastasia Glow Kit. I have my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. I have my two Morphe palettes down here. Um, and then I have, let's put all this other stuff back up quickly. Um, I have some random stuff down here. I have my Makeup Forever um, Pro Sculpting Palette. I do use this sometimes, but you never saw me use it in a video, but I do use it sometimes. Um, I have my e.l.f. Mad for Matte Palette. I have my Lorac Palette from over the holiday season, which just looks like this. If I can get it open. So it just looks like that. Um, and then I have my Rimmel London eyeshadow palette. I have my NYC palette um, by Demi Lovato. So I have those other palettes down there. And then I have this Wet n Wild little palette because I want to do a look with that, like those blue shadows to you know, kind of like get some color going on my channel besides my basic warm colors. Um, I have this Pure palette. Um, and then I have this Wet n Wild palette, the Old Natural palette. Again, I have another Wet n Wild palette right here. Um, as you can see, Wet n Wild was like my first little like eyeshadow thing when I was, you know, starting to wear makeup. Um, I have my little Anastasia little palette that I created. Um, these are the shadows right here. Again, more warm tone shadows. Um, I have my City Color Blush, my L'Oreal True Match Powder. I used this powder a lot when I first started to wear makeup, but now I don't use it as much anymore. Um, and I just have some other random stuff back there that I don't want to show y'all because it's just it's too much stuff. So, yeah. Right, and then over here, this little, like, container with, like, more stuff. Um, I have all, like, my high-end perfumes up here. Um, but then in here, I just have more stuff that I need to kind of, like, just filter through and get rid of. Um, this top drawer is pretty much, like stuff that I am going to keep besides a few stuff. I have my Carly palette in here. Um, I have this Pulp Fiction palette from Urban Decay. This thing is like so like super old. Um, looks like this. It's like a basic palette. Um, I have my Revlon Rose Gold palette in here. Um, so yeah, a bunch of randoms, but I do want to get rid of some stuff. So I guess we can get started. All right, so this drawer is done. So we pretty much removed everything that I did not want. So that's pretty much what we have rid of so far. We're gonna move on to the next drawer, which is down here.
All right, and this drawer is done. So yeah, you guys, we are pretty much done decluttering. Um, so it's everything that I'm getting rid of right in this little area right here. So we did good.